Okay, so here we go. We're gonna make this video for you. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. It is me, Karen, the Manny Geek at Beauty Geeks, and today we are gonna play Tone on Tone with Sally Hansen's Complete Salon Manicure. Tone on Tone is a really big trend this season because it's summer, and we got tips, and we got toes, and we can paint all of the things. So what you really wanna do when you play Tone on Tone is to pick complementary colors. You don't need them to match, because that's so old school, um, but you need them to complement, so they, they kinda gotta go together, like these two, which I adore, or Kid Me Not and Grape Gatsby. This is probably my favorite pair of the season, hands down and feet down, all the things down. Then um, we can do a combination of Peach of Cake and Arm Candy. Back to the fuchsia and pink a card. And these two pretty greens, jaded and green light. I'm gonna paint my nails. So you'll see I'm pushing the polish off the front of the brush, so it's pretty much clear. The back of the brush has this blob, but that's too much blob. Gravity is gonna do exactly what it's doing right now, and that result on your nail is not gonna be pretty. So, clean off the front a little, and then push your blob to where you want it. And then, <clears throat> great. <laughs> and then you've, you've pretty much controlled gravity. So I'm starting way up here, I know, you think it's weird, but look, watch what happens. Look at that line, woo! Yes, I'm a very slow painter. So I'm gonna switch to uh, Grape Gatsby here. Controlling the amount of polish on the back of the brush, which is the side I use against the nail. This helps display the brush out when you push and flatten it like that, and then you get into your cuticle, and it's really tidy, and you don't have to do that cleanup thing. Look how nice that is. Oh, I didn't put enough polish on my brush. I got a double dip. No! If you got a double dip, do it really fast. Otherwise, you end up with streaks. And just go nice and slow around the corners and your sidewalls, and that was a quick cap at the free edge like that. You want to make sure you do that on your first coat. So you'll notice the second coat, I don't start as high up on the nail. Because you don't want to make bald spots when you push the brush down on the first coat. I'm going to make some art. I cut some tape. That's my Grape Gatsby. And uh, that's my tape. <laughs> Hello, obvious. <laughs> okay, you want to be nice and careful, and you you can go over the tape, but don't go over the tape to the other side, because then you've just destroyed all your Grape Gatsby. I know that looks terrible, but hold on, hold on, just wait, wait for it. I'm gonna do another coat, and you have to be somewhat quick at this. You have to peel the tape off while the polish is still wet on that side, otherwise. It just all sticks. And there you go. Okay, let's make some dots, because we got these two colors that go really, really well together. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop some fresh polish down on some kind of disposable plastic thing or tin foil or cardboard or whatever you don't need to keep. And then decide if you want a big dot or a little dot. I'm gonna go with a little dot. And I'm just gonna put a little tiny dot right here. And look, nail art. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I can has art. All right, so if that's a little too simple for you, we can uh, do a different dot. We can do this dot. Start there and just keep going up. And your dot will get smaller just because you got less polish on your daughter. Ta-da! More nail arts! I gotta switch colors, so I gotta clean my daughter. <laughs> Let's make a French doticure. Doticure. <laughs> it's a French doticure. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this blob of your complementary color, start right here in the middle, 
and then, oops, come out this way and you end up with progressively smaller dots. And then you wanna do the other side, but you don't want a big blob here. So go back in your blob of polish, dot off the first dot and then go this way. When you art, make sure that your base coat is dry, especially if you're gonna use tape. We got a whack of Manny Petty tips and swatches at imabeautygeek.com. Then there's a whole bunch of nail art and nail color ideas on the Sally Hansen Canada YouTube channel. Happy tone on tone painting, everybody. XO Manny Geek. XO, <laughs> leave that part in. XO Manny Geek.